you know, I just, I, I can't take it sometimes. And then he sent me one of his gals yesterday. I was like, what, what, Ray? Oh He's yeah. Still- Elise. No, but he, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, he didn't say he, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we, I, I, people are just handing down the, the thing. I, I, I get suspicious of stuttering John's hair. Jesus Christ. We got him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What's up, John? Hey, Adam. How are you, buddy? Going on. Oh my God. Wait, so wait. Oh God. Was I just talking shit about him? <laughs> anyway. You do every uh, day. Huh? <laughs> Probably you do every day. Why should we? fucking today be any different okay but for real i mean you say you but i mean allegedly you were on the howard stern show allegedly you're on the tonight show yet you're talking to a fucking potato head come on man <laughs> he's actually pretty funny no he's a douche he's a he's an arrogant douche uh and 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 he acts like he's better than me and people because he's a he's a potato and that Did makes him clever Fuck no. He, I guess uh, somebody said I had him on for like a minute for, yeah, and then I cut him loose. Just a couple of minutes. Because he, he somehow I got either I thought, okay, let's give it a try. And then. Uh, but here's the thing, Kevin. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, but he's not. He's not. He's not your friend. He's friends with Carl. He's like Carl's best friend. Well, I'm doing a stand up show with him. Okay, one show. What do you mean with that potato? Yeah. First of all, the guy stinks. Ask Chad. The guy stinks. He's Chad, not... ask Chad. Well, yeah, Ch- Chad stinks. Yeah, yeah, of course. So he knows when a guy stinks if he's anything like uh, himself. Okay. <laughs> he was the nineteenth runner-up in the funniest in Florida contest. Yeah. Hey, yeah, wait, you guys have never, spoken. you guys have never met, right? Pat Dix and a uh, stuttering John Melendez. No, I don't do. you remember? He said I smelt until I called him out on it, and then he was like. No, no was that was like, a different. That was a different guy. No, we, was, never, uh, we've never met, John. Nice to meet you, though. That oh, right, was man. Dave. Oh yeah, Dave Debusha. Who, who? What's his name? Fuck. Dave the Heeb. <laughs> he was a. Uh, he was a guy who allegedly uh, punched Gino Bascante in the jaw at at a bar. Yeah, what was his name again, man? Pat Dixon, right here. <laughs> no, Dave, the other guy. Who said your feet stink? Yeah, you remember he was like, I actually went to his house. Friends with the tell. Oh, he just cow. Like, just just cow. Just cow. That was it. Uh, <laughs> Pat, you punched Gina. That's I right. went to his house. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> I did. I partied with the fucking. No, guy. I know. You never. You said like, who is this fucking guy? And just cow's like, you've been to my house. You're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> I was a bit, the nineties were a bit of a fog, so I don't remember. I don't remember every house party I went to. Did you like my new song about uh, uh, Lady K? Yeah, but Lady K is friends. His best friends with the potato. So what? What are you even fucking entertaining these fucking He's losers not best for? Friends with the potato. He is. He is. He's on. He's on that shitty Carl show all the time. But he hates Julie. That's what, and which is what, which is what I like. Oh, he say that's what he's saying. What what is he basing that he hates Julie on? He just he just thinks he's a hack. Okay, but he's a potato. He's really not, Kevin. You know, there's a real person behind that potato. Okay, well, let's see the fucking face. Well, he anyway, says he's gonna show me his face at the stand-up show. And so, what happened? What happened that he t- that he turned on Julie? I don't know. He said, "I'll never do a show again." I I'm not really sure. Well, uh, I guess people catch on as Shuli is a piece of shit. I mean, it took Melton a couple of weeks, and then Melton's Shuley, like... Uh, Shuley cut out all the starches, I think is what it was. Oh, uh, by the way... Trying to cut carbs. Oh, yeah. Kev, Kev, did you see what Patrick Melton did to me, the prick? No. What do you mean? I got str- I was off for a week. Oh, that. No, yeah. Well, he didn't do it, though. You did it to yourself. Well, he was trashing Shuli, so I sent him the link, asked him to come on, and then he fucking fucked with me, and then... And then when I emailed him, I said, why would you do that? Because you made a song about me. Oh, wow, wow. Give me a fucking break. I well, ad-libbed the fucking song. I didn't even spend any time on it. Wait, he really said because you made a song about yeah, me? Yeah, I'll Adam, I'll forward you the email. He goes, because you wrote a song about me. I go, are you fucking kidding me? I ad-libbed the song. You can't take it, you fucking pussy. I think he is a little sensitive. He does. He got mad that I didn't text him uh, in a proper amount of time in a return text. Yeah, he only a, texted because he wanted something. Yeah, felt, I wanted. Felt something. It was too transactional. Cop. And now he's trashing my kids. It's like, Who? you know, fatty patty. 
Oh, you did make the Fatty Patty song. Yes. I, I'm responsible for everybody's nicknames around here. I know. I, yeah, that was a good song. All right, You're like so, Trump all right. in that way. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but He's we good with the that. branding. All right. So, uh, um, so you lost your channel for a week, and and do they apologize or what do they do? No, I, no, they. You know, you, you know how YouTube is. I appealed and begged them. They said sorry. It's too. It, you know, you fucked. <laughs> so you just had right. to wait it out, basically. Yeah, I waited it out. I'm fucking. You know, I don't need the fucking. It, it don't really matter that much to me. All right, so so since you had a week off, did you did you like did you have a d develop a new strategy? I see you're playing a song, so when John so when Shuli snipes you, he might lose yeah. his channel because he's you play your song yep. the whole show, and it's copywritten and and it's registered with BMI. And who made up the song? Me, I wrote it. I'm playing on it. It's oh well, you're song. a son. I, yeah, we've heard mm -hmm. some of your we've heard your Fatty Patty song, and uh, so we know. Kev, I had two record deals. I was signed to Atlantic Records. I know you're in a comedy. You're like Led Zeppelin for, in this world. Uh, I only know you as a musician. I mean, did you do <laughs> yeah. something else? Your early stuff. Well, in my video, Pat, I, I, I had Sting and Gene Simmons in my MTV video. Damn. And Gilbert Gottfried and Nuno Betancourt from fucking Extreme and Greg Brady, Barry Williams himself. Wow. Wait, what was Sting? Across America. Yeah, what was right. Sting? <laughs> it really was. You had everybody. <laughs> We are you have line on Richie too. <laughs> no, he was dancing on the ceiling. Wait, hey. um, wait. So why was Sting there? He as a favor? Yeah, he just he was a fan, and he and my Sting and, was a fan of yours. Yes. And now you're talking to a fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sting is like as big as it gets, especially you know when MTV was uh when he was on MTV all the time. No, I love Sting, and and then when I saw him. When he was playing on on the Tonight Show, I went up to him. I go, "Hey, Sting," and he, I go, "Remember me?" He goes, "Of course I do. I did your fucking video." <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, and Gene Simmons. I hung out with Gene. You know, we went to scores together. Uh, my ex girlfriend was calling his fucking hotel room trying to find me when I was banging one of the girls on my music videos. <laughs> uh, go on, El Opia Gephardt's begging for super chat. Sixteen viewers. Yeah, he won't oh, come on boy. the show. I, I'll actually say I take that back. I didn't bang it because because she I didn't I didn't have a condom. But I'll tell you, Adam. Then yeah, tell me specifically. Well, then she started. Um, then she started blowing me, and but then she had lockjaw, and and then she just <laughs> kept clamping down. I'm like, I. So then I fucking just I just and she had big fake titties. I just banged the fucking chest. Sounds like she had cockjaw. You know, I could have banged a mattress. It wouldn't have fucking been any different. Wait, somebody really had lockjaw? I thought that was just like an urban man. Oh, you can really get lockjaw? Be like, fucking holy shit. Like, haven't you step on a nail or something? I don't know. Either that or she just gives a bad blowjob. I don't know. Hmm. But it was all Too much teeth. Too much Too much bite. Yeah, there. too much teeth. Uh, Opie, yeah, yeah good luck, like Opie. They take out the teeth. What? Loading hack member, yes, South Park. What? What? So, how you been, Kev? I've been on. I'm on the air every day. Yeah, everything going good. What's this? An interview? Listen, listen. I, I, I don't. You know, everyone's like, you know, you're Brennan. You're paranoid, and then like, I, I think you gotta live paranoid in this world. It's like somebody pooped on your fucking channel, and you lose your channel for a week. Like, I can't afford to lose my channel for a week because some girl took a dump on my stream. That well, it's not only that, the guy was screaming out F the N words, and then, you know, and then F, and then, you know, I want, you know, he threatened someone of very high importance. Yeah, he threatened the president, right? 
Yes. Wow. Why'd you, why would you have a guy like that on? I didn't know. I, <laughs> I didn't know Fatty Patty was going to be so angry at me because I. It wasn't Fatty Patty, though, right? He just sent a link to everybody. Well, I don't know who it was. Ian Hall claims it wasn't him. Fucking, he called me because that idiot Joey C fucking <laughs> docks my phone number. <laughs> so wait, Ian, Ian, yeah, it's hard to keep track. I know it is, but hey, that's why I'm interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I like when somebody tells everybody yeah, else they're interested. They're interesting. I'm the goat. That's why I'm fascinating. That's what Gino always does. He tells you what he's he's good at what he does. Yeah, a lot. Well, of okay. I well, I mean, all this shit's going on. I mean, fucking Shuli is doing his show, and it's all about me, of course. And then you know, I go on. And then I snipe him, and then this producer Joe changes the screen a billion times because he doesn't want. It's like he fucks up his whole show for me. <laughs> Wait, they they change the channel for what? Well, they like mess with the the screen the orientation screen i was wondering because I, I yeah i saw you the other day so so I, wait so then you can't snipe them no i can like snipe they'll them, do they, like the whole screen is then becomes yeah, just my they'll face like, they'll like do like weird oh. fucking they'll just like fuck with it and yeah change your so that his window doesn't and they'll just like keep doing it yeah, I'm the dude. Well, well, what do you think's gonna happen going forward? It just seems like uh, this is this is the whole thing. That's Julie, and that's you. You guys are in lockstep for the rest for the next twenty years. No, I I can't stand the fucking creep. No, but I mean, you keep making content, and they keep watching it. So I'm just curious, like, oh, so what? I'm supposed to not make money? I'm supposed to just fu- fucking I get, I don't even want to tell you. Well, I think I told you how much I'm fucking. I'm making good money doing this stupid shit. What the live stream? Yeah, but Kev, you know, believe me, I'm making ba- I'm making good money. You're making bank. Like, You're making bank. I I would not. I swear on my life. Yeah, but I'm even just, when I watch your show, it's not people just give you money to 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 troll you. That's that doesn't bother you. No. Watch yeah, but that'll watch. eventually that'll eventually stop anyway, because then people are going to get sick of it, right? Or they won't. It's me. Who can get sick of this? John, what do you think is your strongest point? Your politics or your uh, comedy? I, I, I think my strongest point is avoiding stupid questions. Jesus Christ. Are you guys, are we in conflict? No. Pat's a little uh, leans right. Yeah, you guys should do a show together. You re- lean right and you lean left. I don't do politics here, though. No, not here, but you, you, you do. You guys could do like a, a like a crossfire. Remember that yeah. show, Crossfire? Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing, but I, don't, I doubt John would want to do that. I mean, like he John, would. He that's be... what he needs. He he, he, he should be talking to a potato. He should be talking to a real. <laughs> and first of all, all he does is talk about. Listen, I'm good at this. Let's just admit it. But uh, oh, oh, John, oh. There's John's the rubbing off on me. Straight. You just said it. Everybody says they're good. Um, Gino, no, I'm doing it to to, like mock, to mock you. Oh, okay. but also, okay. but also, uh, John, you you do your political show. It, nothing's more boring than watching people agree politically. So what you got to do is have somebody that you don't agree with. I tried. I no, you do it, Pat Dixon. I'm vouching for him. He's a good guy. He's a smart guy. He's, he punches the right people. Uh, <laughs> you know, he 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 punches down, as we say. But uh, but you guys should think about that and just keep it good natured. Uh, because your show, when you have these fucking uh liberals on, it's just it's like it's they you guys yeah, just agree with each other and it sucks. What? That's good. That's good. That's just because you're not a liberal. No, either way, it sucks. If if you watch conservatives all talk to other conservatives, that that's boring too. You got to really? mix it up. It did, it did it did damn well for Rush Limbaugh, huh? He talked to himself. Yeah, he had right wing guests on Kev. Okay, but not a lot. I'm saying, John. I'm saying it'd be much more compelling. I've watched all your shows. I try to watch them. And then, uh, and then you sitting there with that they, these guys you have on. It's boring. It's a boring show. You, you is- agreeing with you guys all agreeing about about uh, your politics? It's boring. To you, it is. 
Well, hey, everybody, would, I am in the chat. It, they're all bored. It would be good every once in a while, though, because otherwise it kind of just turns into like a love fest. You're just agreeing with each other. Well, nobody. Yeah, you want to be in a bubble, you know, yeah. without any new right. ideas okay. coming in, any different ideas. Or, you know, sometimes people want to see how you can, like, uh, you know, defend an idea or something like that, you know? And, exactly. Uh, somebody, and everybody gets to learn something. A spirited debate. A spirited debate about, about, about talk, issues. I'll take your advice, but until then, I'm going to have to pass on this. Talk What's like that? What about, what about taking my advice? Yes. What it's shows personal. have you He's guys taking done? one look at me, and he's like, quality. I don't want this guy near my show. That's what it is. What shows have I done? Network. I know you did SNL, but I'm saying. <laughs> well, I, don't have enough, I don't have enough credits for you. No, I'm saying <laughs> all you guys act like you know what the fuck you're talking about, and you don't. I know what I'm talking about with this stuff. I, I know people don't want to be bored. I don't. I know they don't. But, John, I watch your shows. You, I you watch yours. Me. Sometimes you I'm talking politics. You talking politics to guys who you agree, who you all agree with you each other is Chad fucking Zumick boring. Me is boring. Nobody knows who Chad Zumick is, and by you doing fucking twenty minutes talking about Chad Zumick, I'm falling a fucking sleep. And if you have Ray Devito on one more time, I'm gonna shoot myself. That guy's fucking a dead weight. Get rid of him, Bob. At no point was I going to have sex with anybody. And you're giving me advice on programming? You have Ray DeVito on? I'd rather have the fucking potato. Yeah, but we're not talking politics. We're making fun of Ray. People get sick of politics. It's People boring. get sick of Ray DeVito. Yeah, I know. I got it. I think he's not on today. Well, it's yeah. like when, when you had, uh, when, when Stuttering John, when you first came back on, you had Carl on, you know? I mean, like, so people like the conflict. Right. No, I understand conflict, and uh -huh. I have had righties on. But a right. lot of them refuse to do it. Well, Go we to got the one, right, we Get got one right here. What? We got one right here. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it. I'd love that. All right. So we'll have fucking. I'll come up with a song. I would. Watch we'll that. have you on, Pat. All right. Sounds great. I'd love to come. Thanks, John. Isn't that kind of what the what Bill Maher did? Politically, uh, earlier, politically incorrect. Yeah, he would kind of he would have he like would have people differing from, people on. Yeah. We have spirited debates. That formula spirited has debates. been done fucking through the ages. Of, of political debate, but nobody does it anymore because they all—they all Fox News or MSNBC or CNN—they just get like minds and they all agree with That's each other, true. and it's fucking boring. They kind of they, they, fucking plenty of right wing. They try to, but it it ends up being pretty low impact. So you guys are both entertainers. You're both comics. So just you know, it'll be fun. You guys can go back and forth. Do it once a week. Go back and forth. The super chats will probably come in just because people will have opinions about it as well. Speaking of comedy, KB, are you ever going to do stand up again or no? <laughs> is that, that going to be topic number one on your new show? Listen, it don't worry. I can do stand up whenever I want. I, I, I almost went to a club last night and then. Uh, and but don't then you miss it? No. Do I? No, I don't miss it. Do I miss running into fucking uh, uh, Dan Natterman or Lenny Marcus at the comedy cellar? No. Do I? Do I miss? Uh, uh, no. Hey, you don't like? Do I, you don't like Dan Natterman? Natterman, Dan Natterman. No, I just shit on him, shitting on him yesterday. Comics are losers. They're just they're losers. They're losers. Listen, I, it is what it is. It's like being a porn star. You're in porn. After a while, you're like, oh, all these whores. You know, it's like that's how I feel with comics. It's like after a while, you're like, just get these fucking losers away from me. You were just shitting on Dan Natterman and fucking Chad Zimmick and Ray DeVito, all stand-up comics. Do I miss them? No. I didn't shit on Dan Natterman. I like Dan Natterman. All right, well, Ray DeVito and Chad Zimmick, they're both stand-up comics, Ohio oh, really? Mills. Have you seen Chad's act? Wow, well, I think I was going after Chad. <laughs> He you don't have to like, defend that. That's a position you don't want to have to defend, right? Wait, wait. <laughs> what have you seen Chad's act? I, oh, I saw it. When? I saw a tape of it when I was at fucking Side Splitters. Well, the, the, me and the club owner were like, this is, well, not, well, not the club owner, but somebody there. You was, guys were all just sitting Chad, around watching Chad Zumick? Yeah. Because it was on the screen. It was on the okay. screen? Like oh, an it upcoming was, act? It was, he was an upcoming, upcoming yeah, act, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Something like like a mon But it was like a montage of other performances. Yeah, but they were all wasn't, bad. Wasn't it all was Zach. Act. Hack. Hack. Yeah, but put it this way. Chad Zumick was fucking sniping me today. Guess how many people he had watching? How many? 43. <laughs> how do you know? You, you, somebody told you? Carter 
Picard was watching him, and he goes, John, he has 43 people right now. Okay, well, he might have been lying just to... No, just he's to, not lying. In Chad's case, it's all 43. <laughs> yeah, and he used to snipe me. He used to do better when he was sniping me, so maybe it's you, John. He's going to blame you, because when he sniped me, he was always in, like, the solid, uh, all you know, 100 to 200 range. Yeah, he's not... No, no, no. He's... Dude, nobody watches that... Sh- he's a... Ugh, just forget it. I don't. Why haven't the potato on a stand-up show though? Because he's not a stand-up. He uh, that potato is... moves tickets. He sells tickets up north. Oh, <laughs> he's a big draw in Rochester, isn't he? From Canada, he's from Minnesota, I think. Minnesota, some no, of the he, best. Oh, you talking about the potato? He said he just said that as a goof. That's not a. That's not a. That's not a Minnesota accent. It's oh, very he's Canadian. Minnesota. Yeah, he's like Toronto or something. Oh, yeah, that's what somebody told me. That, yeah. That, yeah. I don't know. I don't care. He, he's actually a nice guy. I've talked to him on the phone. He's going to turn on you so bad. He's probably playing yeah, you right dude, now. He is. No, he's probably playing you right now. He's got some kind of – Carl told him to go on your show and pretend he hates Shuli, and then you'll have him on. And that's how you got duped by fucking uh, – by, by Fatty Patty. Because uh, fat, you thought Fatty Patty was now your ally because he was shitting on uh, Shuli, and then you send him a link. Well, I didn't know that he'd be so butthurt about a song. Me, I think he was kidding about the song. I don't know if he was really butthurt. Yeah, well, I, it doesn't sound. Adam, like I'll him. fucking forward you the email, okay? Yeah, but it could, he could still. He's. I, I know Melton. I mean, he'll, he'll say he, he was joking. Kidding. Maybe he was joking. He was not kidding, Kevin. He was like, "Fuck you, man. You fucking had that. Uh, you wrote that song about me, and like, I'm trust me." He was pissed at me. Send Melton the link, Adam. Sure. I've Fucking been asshole. sending Melton the link. He, he, I, I get ghosted. No, that's, you, Not, always, you gotta keep trying. That's yeah, how we, that's, that's true. how it works. You're right. You're Why would right. you send them the link so we can bring in a girl fucking shit and, no, so he could, so he could come on and, and, and de- defend himself. He was, if he was really mad about the song you wrote. That is a good point though, that John brings up. That could what? happen. I he'd he never do that. He'd never do that to Kevin. But we I wouldn't let him on. We mean. wouldn't let him on unless uh, we are not going to let some John let some guy on who wasn't even a real person. Then it was a picture of John. Well, and then they, it... all of a sudden the guy had an accent. All of a sudden a lady taking a shit. But did yeah, he? he did you even let the story. guy? Did you even let the guy on, or did he just do a screen share? No, I, no he, you had to let him on, right? Yeah, no. I let the, him on with the picture of me, okay. and then it, oh, so you did let him on. So you yeah, thought it was, I you. Thought it was Paddle Storian. All right. He pretended to be a guy that I've had on my show before. Dabble, the great Dabble story. Yes. There mm-hmm. you go. There you go. <laughs> everyone's trying to, everyone, like I said, everyone's getting lined to fuck with you, John, and you keep trusting all these fucking losers. Now you're uh, trusting that I'm piece of trusting. shit potato. I'm too trusting. I have a big heart. No, I know. You're a liberal. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. you can't, the, uh, the potato is now fucking with you officially. I don't think the potato is fucking with me, no. No, yeah, of course. He's already getting getting to you. Said he's a nice. You like him. He's a nice guy. Everybody yeah. else who knows him says he's a prick. Really? Yeah, he's not a sweet potato. Well, he says you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this episode. He's like one of those rotten potatoes under the sink. <laughs> yeah, call this episode so not a sweet potato. Uh, by the way, did you see uh, the uh, the shit way his new fucking shaved head no i don't watch a, a long time oh. Hadn't they? oh no but now it's like shiny it's the fucking chemo kid he's got the sh- the sides are shaved yeah he's the chemo kid it's oh like, that's the new him. nickname yeah <laughs> so so are you guys gonna tour together i know him and levy are pushing for you guys to tour i would never do i you know kev you come up with this shit I don't know where. No, they're, that's with. just what Levy told me. He said they're gonna, you're gonna, he's gonna tour with you before Levy you fucking still stabbed me in Levy? the back. No, I haven't spoken to Levy since uh, August nineteenth. Well, you just said that this is what he told you. How yeah, did he before tell you? that, before he turned on me, he said he's gonna do a tour with Angel. with you and John and uh and and uh and and Kevin. and Kumia. Kevin, I am not ever walking on a stage with Levy or fucking the, all this shit. Way you'd be surprised, didn't you? Didn't you reach out to see what they what the offer was? I wanted to see what they were going to offer. Does that mean I was going to do it? Well, I what did they to- offer? What did they offer? He didn't because I don't know. They don't have any money. They're that's, not a draw without me. That's a fact. I'm the draw. 
I'm the dude. So you're going on <laughs> tour by yourself. <laughs> I'm the dude. <laughs> 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 did we even read that? I think I we did, think, right? I did we? We didn't four fourteen loading. I think he said four oh, fourteen yeah. loading. Hack memory. He said we're late. Yes, yeah, South Park. Why are what? you always late, by the way? Because I, I'm never thinking I'm going to be late, and then all of a sudden I'm going to turn my on my computer, and then and then it is what it is. Adam, I mean, drive me nuts. I'd be at school, and I get like fifteen minutes, you know, it, during lunch that I can watch you idiots, and this fucking asshole's always late. I'd be like, oh, charm. Fuck. Like the fucking bell just rang. And these fucking kids are coming, and now I can't watch. You miss teaching? Uh, what? Yeah, good question. Do I miss stand up? Yeah. Do you miss teaching? Yes. No, what do you, you miss don't. about it? Because I love it. Yeah, but what do you love about it? I mean, <laughs> I love teaching kids. What? What? Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, uh, yeah, that's it. There's nothing, it's nothing you're doing that you good. enjoyed about it. You're doing something good for society. They need teachers. I'm a giving guy. But did you really lose your job? Because, yes. And they, they, they told you that they showed you a, a clip or they sent you, they showed you an email. <laughs> How, don't they have to a show? Clip. Don't they have to, don't, it's like due process. They have to I show think. you what got you fired. They, yes, they, yes, I know what did, but I'm not going to say it. I told you that. I'll tell you. In Why private. not? It already happened. I'll tell you in private. <laughs> We're going to go to the private room. It's yeah. almost impossible for a teacher to get fired. <laughs> I mean, private. you know, it really is. I mean, it's I guess impossible. if you don't, maybe if a substitute is different, but what to get to get fired? It's very hard to get fired. Well, I, I mean, at least I, I in New York, seeing... I figured it was the same in California. The teachers' union is very strong. Do you know, Pat? I how the seen... fuck do you know? Stories well, about you, this, you know, your guy's show again. is going to be great. Your guy's show is going to be fucking great. Yeah. Seriously, if you don't do a show, Pat, follow up on this because this would be a good show. You guys, I'd love I mean, to. I'd love to. Well, because no, I mean, I... you see it all the time. These teachers in the, in New York go into the rubber room, you know, and they still get to keep their jobs. But they yeah, they, yeah, they, they, nobody kids. gets fired, John, okay, well, on Pat, the East Pat, Coast. Pat, I wasn't um, a, a full time credentialed teacher. I was a long term sub. Right. Subs don't have the same exact um you know you know we, we don't get treated in in the same way yeah but yeah weren't you going to take a test to be more accredited as a sub and then I you was, be more, then i get fired no but then you're going to be more protected if you pass if you get became a long-term uh yes, accredited sub are, yes, are you I in the would. union that's not the, then the i would have been union? a credential teacher but the only problem with that is if you get your credential then you got to do a year internship with no pay <laughs> Well, they even let uh, janitors and shit be in the teachers' union. The one of them, they they include everybody, the lunch ladies That's and different everybody. union, different union, Pat. Oh. Yeah, but, yeah, I know. There's two, union. there's two, but they're both. They're Maybe two of the three strongest right unions. Fucking... They're two of the three strongest unions in the country, though. One of them has uh, like get, the administrators. Get one thing everyone. correct, please. Get one thing fucking correct, Pat. Get everything correct. No, they're in a different union. The... Yeah, but they. Yeah, he, no, that's right. Different. The union. The unions on in the New York City. Uh, the, the what's that lady who runs the New York unions? Uh, Pat, Ricky, Randy, Randy, something. Yeah, Randy Weingarten or whatever. She she's like she's who runs the run for center. She's always on the news. They're, the unions are very strong here. Yes, and I and I struck for the um, cafeteria workers and janitors. That's a different union, though. Yeah. This. Yeah, but that that is a teachers union as well. It's not a teacher's union. You picketed with the cafeteria ladies? Yes. That must have been sexy. <laughs> and Meet some and all of the teachers. <laughs> yeah. We were in solidarity, if you will, Kev. Like, I'm sure you, like I did, I I went on, I picketed with my fellow um, guild. Cafeteria. Working. No, my guild members. And I was on the other side. I want this. I wanted. I. I. I was standing with the producers and the uh, directors. Typical Brennan. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you. I think you. writers. Writers are overrated, and actors. I mean, don't get me started. Fun. Don't get me he started on actors. Operation. Hey, I'm an actor. I ever sit around and wait for the phone to to ring. If it doesn't ring, I I don't do nothing. You've been in movies. Yeah, but not not like that. I'm not an actor. I'm not sitting around waiting waiting for some fucking loser from Hollywood to call me. Whenever when it, it, it don't it, don't get me started. Actors are pathetic people. So comedians are losers. Actors yes. are losers. Yes, I'd rather talk to cafeteria ladies. I'd rather Definitely. talk to potato. <laughs> You'd rather talk to a potato. I'd rather talk to the lady serving the potato. <laughs> so what's he gonna do on the stand-up show? That's what I don't get. He's Who, John? Gonna- 
No, no, the, no, the uh, potato. Cardiff. Oh, yeah. Well, he was on the Rochester one that they did, yeah. the first DabbleCon. People he, seem to like him. He did six minutes or something. Uh, Chad okay. said he was horrible, though. Chad's, Chad, uh, Chad. Chad sniped it. He said he was horrible. Wait, so where is this? Uh, sorry, I missed it. Where was the... The show, John. Where's this happening? It's it's, it's uh, the, the comedy at the Carlson, and the shithole of New yeah, York. Yeah, that's why they had the original oh, this one. Is at, this is in Rochester as well. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's the only place they can move tickets because Carl's going to get all his crew out there. You know, it's going to be all Carl's uh, people heckling you. So, and you know, the potato's going to turn. A, the potato's going to drop the bucket of blood on you, like Carrie. Kevin, mm-hmm. Kevin, the potato's in on it too. Kevin, I'll tell you how much I'm making, and then you'll be, and then you'll understand why I don't give a fuck about who. You already told me, but you said if it sells out, but it's not selling out, or it hasn't sold out. Well, we're we're selling pretty damn well. Five months out, shit, yeah. You're gonna yeah get I'm that already blood in the black. Over you, though. It's gonna be a whole thing. I'm I'm already in the black, and I haven't even fucking got bought my plane ticket yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're already in the black. Yeah, oh, if you got to sold already, I'm making money. Don't worry. Uh, St. Ranger, 1959. Howdy, Pat. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Adam. First time caller, long time listener. Pat, thanks for the shows you do. Solo and shows with Douglas Nelson and KB. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, that's, I like Douglas Nelson, but you got to do a show with Stutter and John. Righty, lefty. Something like that. Just something catchy. Yeah, I will. Hold on. I want to show you something, Kevin. Righty, tidy, no, don't, lefty, don't, I don't want to see a picture <laughs> of someone uh, taking a shit, John. We're going to cut you loose. No, no, we don't want no. We don't do no shenanigans, shenanigans here. No, Say, no, thanks, no, no. St. Ranger. And tell Pam I said hi. Ugh. What is that? Oh, that's the shit wear hat. Yeah, yeah, this is some of the merch I'll be selling. And, you know, uh, I'll be signing some of the shit wear shirts. So you're going to get more. You're going to get even more in the black. Stop that. Yes. Looking. See, there's the shit wear hat. Oh, you got the stink lines and everything. Yeah, that, and there's <laughs> flies on there, if you could see them. Oh, there's, no, we can't see the flies. Oh, no? <laughs> Who made that, uh, Patty Fatty? Yeah, you can see the flies? Oh, we can now. Yeah. Look like shuttlecocks. You gotta get real close to the hat. <laughs> Wait, who made the hat? You made special edition, special order? I uh I have a merch guy. Oh wow, someone's doing well. Uh Jason Bentley, I stand with Pat Dixon. I wish you'd merch break Gino's. <laughs> I stand with Pat Dixon. I wish you'd break Gino's other jaw. That's from the classic episode uh, when I yeah. showed up and I told no, Gino I was gonna hey, break Pat, his other you jaw. Punch him anyway? I, when he so- broke his other jaw and, and Kumi goes, Well, the- in theory, you only have one jaw, just yeah, two sides. You break the other side, yeah. Kev, how did you know, why'd you punch if Gino? He, I mean, if you had punched Gino. Yeah, he right. was gonna he's gonna write a book if I punch if, Gino. If I know I he deserves it. it, he's a fucking loser, but why? Well, that's it. You summed it up right there. I mean you've met him. <laughs> no, he's an, I you met know. him. I didn't know who he was, and he was mad that I didn't know who he, who he was. <laughs> really? That sounds yeah. about right. Yeah, he was mad that I didn't know who who he was. He goes, fuck John. He don't even fucking he don't even know my name. <laughs> And you didn't know Dave Juskow either, but Dave Juskow took it better. Yeah, I don't know fucking, you know, how the hell am I going to know all these guys? Yeah, everyone was kissing your ass back then. And you, you can't remember everybody's name. People who didn't wear name tags, how would you expect to know everybody? Dave something, right. So Just why don't you like Dan Nodderman? Dan Nodderman. Uh, Jason Bentley. Thank <laughs> you, Bentley. Thank you, Jason. But I renounce violence. <laughs> lose, lose this boring starch lover. <laughs> Uh, uh, trans rib. Uh, first they came for Jimmy the Greek and I stood by him. Next they came for Michael Richards and I stood with him. Then they came for KB and I couldn't stand with him. Just kidding, Shulies. Trans ribs. Yeah, trans ribs. Uh, bear ribs is constantly going after me. Uh, what do you think about what, what Amy Schumer said about how she stands alone? Oh, that was ridiculous. Her tweet. That was fucking stupid. Yeah, where do you, who do you stand with? You stand with uh, which side do you stand on? It's well, I don't stand with Hamas because they're a fucking terrorist organization. But allegedly, I, allegedly. But I mean, the the problems with Palestine and Israel have been going on since the fucking beginning of time. They fighting over a piece of a strip of fucking desert. It's ridiculous. So whose side are you on? I'm neutral. I, I'm I'm not on the side of Hamas. Put it that way. They're fucking terrorists. Thank so you, Transrep. Okay. 
Uh, Fury Seth, good riddance. Tuna Town is what Ray's Becca said. <laughs> Adam, what's got you laughing today? Uh, How about some stand with Ukraine. You stand with Ukraine? Yes. Uh, that was, that's the dumbest war of all time. Now he's like, now, now he, the guy's panicking because he's like, now everyone's like in it focused on the Middle East. And he's like, hey, hey, where'd everybody go? Where'd everybody go? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're a little country. You're, you're, you're fun. Speaking of sh- actors, how fucking clueless they are. This guy's a fucking improv actor, and he became president at, like a, 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 on a lark, actor. on a lark, and and now he's like, he's gonna go up against Putin, a professional fucking uh, thug, and he thinks he's gonna win. Little Ukraine against Russia. A lot I mean, of Nazis fucking, in Ukraine too. You know, there's a lot of like allegedly, Nazis. allegedly. <laughs> I know that's just a myth. It's not a myth. Um, Kevin, you should just call the show The World According to KB. I mean, it's like you hate guy's a clown. The guy from the Ukraine, they wanted a little piece of Ukraine. The Russia wanted a little piece of Ukraine. You know his name? Yes, uh, whatever. Is that Zelensky? Yes, yes, thank you. Kevin, I don't do a political show. That's you and Pat. I'm saying Zelensky, what Russia wanted a little piece of Eastern Ukraine back. Uh, that used to, they all used to be a part of Russia anyway. They want a little piece. These people on the eastern Ukraine are, are basically loyal to Russia anyway. They'd rather be with Russia, but he's like, no, I'm going to stand up to Russia, and you're going to get your ass kicked. This is going to end worse than Pat Dix and Gino Bascante. Yeah. Do you really think the Ukrainians want to be Russian? That part of the Ukraine, the, re- the eastern yeah, Ukraine, right. they did. They did. The vast majority of them. I do, did yeah. a tour. I did a tour with the potato, and we we did a lot. Of, we talked to a lot of the people there. And no, they did. They did. They, 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 they're way, more. Yeah, I got it. They're you more know, affiliated. Got it. They're more affiliated with Russia than Ukraine. But but he's like, no. I if I give them that, they're going to want more. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Just give it to them and mind your fucking business, you fucking failed actor. Kevin, I, I got to play the you. piano with your yeah. dick. Yeah, the guy played a piano with his dick, and now he's going Whoa. up against Putin. He did? Holy shit. Yeah, and, I, and I I, that was that. one of the big sketches on YouTube. That changes everything. Hey, I mean, you know, he's, he must have a big dick. I mean, shit. Um, Kevin. Or maybe, maybe it's a little piano. Tiny piano, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Kev, um, I, you know, I have a bone to pick with you. You're telling me that I should fucking uh, not talk to Potato, yet I recall hearing you on this show saying that the orange was the voice of reason. Uh, the orange does make uh, sense from time to time, but I've never had him on my show. I've never, no, the orange is like a, a legitimate, uh, reasonable yeah, so person. Can, but the, so but the, but the potato, the potato's a bitch. The potato, the potato, when he does, when he, when he does gigs, he's like, when, when, when he, you find out he's a potato, he's like, no pictures, please. No pictures. It's like, then, then if you don't want your picture taken, get out of this fucking hack verse. You fucking hack. Well, no you pictures, can't really, please, you, you, without my potato costume on. You can't judge all fruits and vegetables together, John. You know, I mean, like, they, some, of the, some of them are better than others. You know what I mean? That's true. That's true. I didn't expect to like the orange, but I watched him one time, and I'm like, this guy's, made, this guy's making a lot of sense. I don't remember the episode, but I was thinking he's making a lot of sense. You said he was the voice of reason. The and voice and of and reason. And I choked on my shitty chicken sandwich that I got from school. Well, he's 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 got a lot of insight, you know. He's he's chock full of vitamin C. Uh, <laughs> mm. Jesus. No, but no, good. but for Pretty as far as good. those, the, as far as the the potato and the onion and the he he he's he's the best of, of that crew. I'm not saying he's a great man or anything, but he's the best of that crew. Got to be a lot uh, of beloved chatter a lot of jokes. Uh, beloved chatter, Pat. Word is Ray has no. Pat, word is Ray has no past or future with women. Care to comment? I can vouch for the future. <laughs> hey, Pat, you're smoking too much, brother. Who are you, the next Bob Levy? Yeah, no, I'm the current Bob Levy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about Ray. Uh, that's a, yeah, whatever, man. I mean, like, uh, what past? No past, no future. Well, yeah, but that's you, the word on the street. He said you had a past, so he's making a joke saying he has no future. Right, it's a solid right. joke. Yeah, I heard Ray has a bad future with women. <laughs> no past, hey. present, or future. Hey, uh, hey, uh, who do you hate more, uh, John Levy or Shuley? Shuley. Shuley or and Carl? Sh- Shuley's absolutely jealous of you, right? Because 
Because you guys both worked on a Stern show and, and you're famous and he's not. So he's absolutely jealous of you. And that's that's what most of this stems from, right? Of course. He weighed shit. I made shit happen. It's very, it, it fucking very different. I'm part of fucking some of the greatest bits on the Stern show. The only thing he ever did was weigh fucking high pitch Eric shit. Please. How much did it weigh, by the way? Huh? How much did it? How much did his shit weigh? Does anybody yeah, know? I don't know. I get like a weight on that? Pound. I don't know. I, I, who knows? But it, no one really remembers it. The only way that I I knew was fucking. I'm muttering. Jay keeps saying it. I I, I don't even remember it. Who is muttering Jay? I have no idea. Well, he used you to call him the hate sh- me. Now he loves me. I don't know. You call him the shit weigher, right? I mean, so that's yeah. Uh, you know, and you did for, off off uh, muttering Jay saying that. No, no, I've seen some of the episodes. Because it was sent to me, but it's uh, it's fucking lame. But I'm saying the shit way, just like Kevin's been saying, never got any shows. I did so many shows and movies and animated series, even video games. But the shit way never did anything. Uh, Chris Mack. Games. Sorry, Chris Mack. Number claimed to be killed in operation are obvious BS. How do you feel about Hitler? Who? John. What do you mean, how do I feel? Who do you hate more, Shuli or Hitler? (laughs) Wow. That's a good question. Jesus. What did you say? Hitler was the Antichrist. So you're saying it's Shuli? Um, You like like Shuli more? I don't like Shuli. I just, I just. If you had a, if they if you were picking a softball team, who would you take? <laughs> Neither one of them I think can play softball. <laughs> uh, Pecker nineteen eighty. I expect only have three four. balls between them. I expect to. Yo, that's true. You only had one ball. Tell <laughs> Tell said uh, Hitler only had one ball. Imagine if he had two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What a pricky run it would have been then. <laughs> the ball's on this guy with only one ball. <laughs> uh, Pecker, I expect a 4 p.m. start time as advertised. I know, I know, but but the but it's like uh, it's like that's the advertised start time. But like as long as the show is on YouTube and it's it, it, it we're it, we're doing it, so it don't have to start on time. Plus, uh, uh, when I start at four o'clock. The numbers are low because uh, everyone expects everyone comes in late. Uh, EGN, KB, how about an MLC meetup at Pat Swingers Club? Sorry to get topical. Go ahead, caller. Oh, yeah. You got to do Let's it. Do yeah. It. Is it still open? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in New York now. And I don't do uh, I don't do swingers clubs anymore anyway. Pat used to go to swingers clubs with uh, Chrissy Mayer, who's pregnant now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we dated for a long time. You know, she was my girlfriend from like uh, 2012, uh, 13, 14. Wow. We were real how tight. Many, we traveled the world together. How many years? Two? Closer to three. Wow. You guys ever lived together? No. She did She did move into my neighborhood, though. Was she any good in bed? Oh, yeah. She's great. No wow. kidding. She's a real technician. <laughs> she understands the biology of the human anatomy, the male anatomy. Technician. But she was with you, so she must be desperate. <laughs> yeah. It was a you different guys time. Do you know? a show. Jeez, I'd snipe right. that show. I lifted her up from obscurity. Quite a <laughs> dynamic. Did, did. What? Did you get to your level of, of obscurity? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But it was a better level of obscurity at the time. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, that's true. You can. You, someone can be lower than you, and you sure. lift them up a little bit. Anything helps when you're trying to break into the New York market. Yeah, uh, Gustav, uh, nine and nine. Those those girls, Laney, pimp out, are horrible. Also, not claiming I'm overly moral, but Laney is a really disgusting person for taking advantage of people that are usually extremely damaged and need help. Uh, so I guess wow. that means we'll see you tomorrow, Gustav. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna start on time tomorrow. We're not gonna yeah, fuck around tomorrow. Is, Why do you somebody... start late, Kev? It, it just it, like it, there's no point starting at at four and I, I, at four I'm ready, but then you know like, I gotta, you know I I, I always I, there's no real excuse. I just think yeah. starting exactly at four 
is uh you know is kind of nerdy and and it's nerdy to be prompt i, I understand that uh, no way if i have a spot if i have a spot at at at, at, at 12 30 uh at, at a comedy club i'll be on time but to start a show that i know i don't know it, it's not like we go from four to five if it was a four to five thing like like nbc yeah we start at four but it, it it's not that so long as you stay late, you know, it kind of makes up for it. Right. Yeah. Like Kumi mm-hmm. used to say that. Kumi said, yeah, sometimes we start late, but but we all, we, we never, Kumi would always say, if I start at 4.15, I'm not going to end before 6.15. Is he alive? Uh, or, or, you know, what's going on with that pop face prick? <laughs> yeah, he's alive. Yeah, he's doing real well. He's uh, His recovery is going well. He, he What was, happened uh, to him? He had a little heart trouble is what I heard. Oh, he had bypass, he right? A heart. little heart trouble. <laughs> Did he have a heart attack? No, no, he had some blockage. Couldn't get it going in the morning. So yeah, but he had bypass, right, Pat? Or you can't say that's what I heard. That he had, a, yeah, they had to actually open him up and do like a serious. But he's great now. He's up. He's walking around. He's got a great room and everything. I don't think he's home wow. from the hospital yet. But I, you I, know, that's were you in his room? I know. I I watch stuff on YouTube. People talking about it. Yeah, but he just mm-hmm. did. A, he just did a show with Gavin McGinnis, who's been to his room. Yeah, okay. he was there too. Yeah, and it was a great show. Akumia was supposed to be on the show, but he obviously couldn't make it. Can you do me a favor, Pat? Go, go to his room and visit him and smoke profusely. Okay. <laughs> I don't think they'll <laughs> let you. Yeah, I, I'm sure Ann wouldn't mind. He'd probably be like, "Sure, go ahead." Yeah, he don't care. Uh, Gustav, uh, yeah, but we're, she's going to be here anyway. But uh, but uh, and you'll be here too, watching hopefully. Is Ghost Lainey to Mr. P. Be- not Lainey, coming here. Not Lainey, no, but, Lainey just... but one of Lainey's gals. Alleged. Oh, take that off. Take yeah. that off, Adam. What is it? It's it's scooping on my kid. All right. Hmm. Yeah, John. Uh, all right. I don't. I'm gonna lecture you the whole show. <laughs> you why? Huh? Why should today be any different? No, but it's like you shouldn't talk about your kids, and then uh, I mean, if you talk about your kids, you give them an excuse to talk about your kids. Never talk about your kids on your show is what I say. Yeah, I try not to. Yeah, but you bring it up all the time. They're going, Carl's going after your kids, and and uh... Adam Stuttering John's music playing is his copyright album. Right, we had you up for a second. Oh, I don't care. I wouldn't strike you guys. I mean, it does. Yeah, we don't leave them up. Anyways. I would not strike. Yeah, that's Aunt Bob. Bob Levy said he would never stab me in the back, and he's he's as loyal as it gets. And then the uh, day he quit, he started sniping me with the snake. With the snake payer. Yeah, well, I we, we snipe, I only snipe, if, if I do snipe, it's only to see what your topic is. And Yeah, because people always watch my show for the topics. Well, <laughs> yeah, I want to see who you're topical. in fucking, who you're at war with. Who I'm at war with, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, so John, that's that's your music. You you created it. It's 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 been, it's copyrighted. It's protected. So anybody that because uh, anybody that uses it, it will will get a strike. Yes, it's just same thing as people playing Aerosmith or Led Zeppelin same or anything. Same. All right, and then what is it it's it's registered all with the it's copyright registered. office, and it's also with my publishing company BMI. And how loud do you play it? Do you have to play a certain uh, loudness so that uh, you can so just enough that you can hear it? And and what have they said? Have you have you reported them? I I I haven't seen them playing anything yet. Hmm. I'm what about radio it? stations? They can play it, right? Yes. Has has it been on the radio yet? No. Plus, sure I took the vocals out. It's just a soundboard, and it's just a sound bed. But I copyrighted the sound bed too. When you sing, do you stutter, or are you like a Mel Tellis? No, I'm like Carly Simon, and I don't stutter. Oh, Carly, Carly Simon, Simon stuttered. <laughs> yes, I had. Plenty of conversations with Carly. On the phone or in time. person? In person. And now I'm talking to a potato. Go ahead. Go for it. But, um, but, uh, you're so vain. You so, you're so vain. Car- Carly, Carly was so nice to me. I, I told them my favorite Carly songs. And in the green room at Stern, she sang them to me a cappella. Wow. Yeah. Then what happened? <laughs> I don't know. She's too tall for me. She's too tall. She's a tall gal. Holy fuck yeah. <laughs> she doesn't look like one. Yeah, lock that jaw though. She's got a really big mouth. She does have a big mouth, yeah. 
Uh, Borgo, uh, cut me a deal to buy Ray Suck shirts for the entire listening audience. <laughs> yeah, can he get a bulk rate? Is that uh, your merch, Kev? No, that's that's Fatty Patty he does my merch. He does a good I job. Guarantee you, Patrick will cut you a deal. He will give you a deal if you buy it for everybody. Oh yeah, he'll yeah, without he's even gotta, talking to him, I can guarantee he. Would yeah, he's kind of cut you a deal, Borgo. <laughs> Uh, Dickie, Dickie Dixon, more like Pekka Pekkason. Take that out. That's Dickie, his, he has a, he has a brother named Dickie Dixon. His, he's Pat cousin. Dixon. I asked him, was he bullied as a, as a, in school with a name like Dixon? It's your cousin, right? Dickie he Dixon. said his, he has yeah, a cousin Dickie. named Dickie Dixon. So he had a, he took all the heat. It's true. Yeah. That the family was going to get. He's more Chip dick. He's, he's got more dick in his name than I got. <laughs> Double dick. Double dick. Double Dixon. Double your dick. Uh, something like double your pleasure. I was going to want something like that. Double men. Uh, uh, Cycle Cleveland. Pat, your thoughts on Denny fake heart attack scare. Oh, he faked a heart attack? I didn't know he faked a heart attack. Is that true? I didn't know about that. No, he was saying he's 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 losing weight and he's doing all this because uh, of his friends. Oh, I think he was yeah. talking, referring to Kumia. Right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He did lose a lot of weight. Yeah, he's lost a ton of weight. He's lost like 20 like something. Pounds. He's probably lost 30 pounds by now. It's been a he's while. still a fat fuck. Then if he only lost 30 pounds, he's pretty big still. Yeah, but he's got a goal. You know, yeah, good for so, him. Uh, yeah, Kevin, is Adam, your new permanent co-host. Who? Adam. Adam's my pre Adam's been here since 2016. Every, the, uh, every time basically somebody there's a falling out. I just sort of jump in. It's, it's oh, been that way. Yeah. I've lost like, I, I lose more. I lose, I lose lots of sidekicks. They, they come and go. Like so, me. Sometimes it happens live on the show even. And I got to jump in as the yeah. third or fourth or whatever, Mike, I got to be ready. Yeah. He's ready. He does vocal exercise before the show in case <laughs> uh, furious. Eventually these hacks will have a trained parrot on the show as a guest or perhaps second Mike. I mean, John, you 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 deserve better. Yeah, you, you have you, you. I mean, you, you have pensions coming. You were in show business. Carly Simon uh, sang to you in the green room, and you're talking to a fucking potato, man. Why are you so obsessed? Because he's Boy. pathetic. I'm, I'm. It's it's pathetic that you I'm were even talking in a world about having an orange to be your fucking co-host, and now you're fucking talking about me. Talking Not about all fruits potatoes. and vegetables are the same. Yeah, but Carly Simon never sang to me. She, ne you know what I mean. And and I don't do. I did one minute with the potato, and and he still is like Brennan, a fuck KB. It's like he's so pathetic. He's such a pathetic. Well, person. you did some time with him, so then doesn't a make time? Sense? I did a minute. I did a minute by. Then than I, didn't, minute. I didn't remember. Somebody sent me the the link. It was more than a minute, Adam. Admit it, Adam. It was more than a minute, <laughs> Adam. I don't, mean, I don't. I would have to don't look. Don't be back. a fucking brown nose. Admit it was more than a minute. I think it was more than a minute. I like anybody Thank agrees you. with me as a brown yeah, nose. Thank yeah, you. I, <laughs> I, I could tell you. I couldn't tell you for sure. I'd have to look back. I'm not sure. It wasn't very long. Thank you, Furious J. J. Schmitty, good old wasted semen. Thank God for it. See you in AC. All right. Where are your name tags? Wasted, oh, wasted semen. semen. He's, he was talking about uh, jerking off. This is we're we're oh, a little about behind. Pulling out, are those pulling out? Oh, oh pulling okay. out. Yeah, we're a little behind. Oh yeah, that's where do you live, Pat? Chattanooga, Tennessee. He had to move. He had to move out of the county because uh, Gino Bascante had a restraining order. No, not exactly that. No, I had to leave because I I got fired from Compound, and so before I got another job over at Sensor TV, I, I went ahead and you know made the plans to move. There was no law enforcement action until after I left town. So I think that was the idea was to fix it up. So if I ever came back to New York, there'd be a warrant. He didn't think that I would turn myself in, which I did, and then went to court. <laughs> he really he turned you in for just punching him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't yeah. drop it. Everybody told him to fucking drop it. Uh the guy who started the Proud Boys told him to be a man and drop it. And he was like, No, I wanna I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna take this all the way to the Supreme Court. And then they laughed it out of fucking uh, uh, municipal court. Yeah, it was a, uh, what do you call it? An anger management. You know, you got to get something if they caught it on video. Yeah, Pat's got to go to anger management online. Online anger management. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Yeah, it really pisses a guy off. But you know who yeah. told him to go ahead and go through with the, you know, the charges? He said, like, oh, I, I would go through with it. Uh, it was uh, Shuley. 
Uh, he did, and Shuli worked on, and you worked on the Shuli Network. Well, I mean, yeah, he didn't really have any influence on the whole thing. So, I mean, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, but why? What was? Why would Shuli say to go through with it just to be a prick? He just said, "Well, I wouldn't drop it. I wouldn't drop it." You know, and I, it's his opinion. You know, he can share that if he wants to. Was he actually talking to Gino? When he no, said he was that, talking was about him. I think he was just talking. I think he was just talking about it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I don't think Meanwhile, I still it. don't know what Gino did to deserve getting punched. He you did enough. Him. He did enough. He did enough. Gino's a bitch. Gino should get punched every day. Yeah, I don't like the guy either. I renounce violence personally. If he did it, you got to buy that book. <laughs> uh, party I, boy, he, Adam. Party boy, Adam, you told me I would get on the big supporter call list if I did that thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> if this keeps happening, I'll release the photos of us. Uh, uh, party boy, next list, I'm going to make sure you get on. Yeah, you helped me move some stuff behind a uh, train station. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, cut stuttering John and Adam. Jesus. I'll play my. I'll play us off. What cut the, the bottom half of the screen. Yeah, that's what we cut. We cut um Chad and Quad yesterday. Quad had a look on his middle. face like. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, thank you for reminding me. That's what I wanted to call you out for. I fucking am sitting there. Here's Kevin Brennan calling everybody a fucking work, and then I tune in, and there's Chad Zumick. On your fucking show. Yeah, we're promoting. It's called promote. It's like promoting a fight. Yeah, Chad's gonna coming, be on. Coming Chad's on gonna Thursday. be on this Thursday with a therapist. So Chad wanted to work out the uh, numbers. Kevin, you got on me for singing a song with Lady K, and then you fucking have Chad. Nobody can stomach the stomach on after you trash him every fucking day. First That's of all, a first hypocrite. of all. First of all, when I mean, you catch me and Chad singing a song together with a guitar, one Doesn't of us matter, holding you a had guitar, him on your let show. me know. And you paid him. Chad yeah, paid to you him too. Him. Yeah, but you don't like him. I don't you like you either. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't like you either. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I beat you to it. Uh, J.O. Crane. Uh, perhaps KB aversions to the potato originates with genetic memories of the Irish. Maybe. Maybe. The, yeah, the deep potato imprint. family. Maybe, maybe. I I do like potatoes, but maybe I do have a hidden gripe with a talking potato or something. A lot of people died because of potatoes or the lack of potatoes. Scorched of earth. Potatoes. Yeah, we're taking it. We're taking everybody down, uh, cousin it. You started the show who with this like, thing. Hey, Kev, who do you dislike the most? And besides me, because I know that'll be a joke. But who, like, the shit way, uh, Lady K, who is. Well, leaving. Surely, surely, hundred percent. And why is it? He's just—he's a dirty fucking yep. snake of a fucking. He's—he's yep. he's literally, you know, it's good. It's actually appropriate that he's known as the guy who weighed shit because that—that's what it, he, he's like. The guy at the circus who cleans up after the elephants, like, and then he, but he talks his big game about how great he is and how what, he's putting a network together. And everybody that deals with him after like a couple of weeks, they're like. This guy's a fucking lying piece of shit. I mean, Melton turned on him, and 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 then Shuli acts like it's it's always everybody else. It's of always course. every everybody else is doing weird shit, and and he's he's always taking a high road, and he's just it's it just ugh. And then also he's a how do you how were you on the Howard Stern for fifteen years, and and you have no stand up TV credits except for fucking live at Gotham, which Chad Zumak has done twice. And he's not even in show business except for this show. And he didn't never lived in New York. I mean, Julie's Julie's like a spectacular fucking failure when you consider how long he was on the Howard Stern show. I I agree. I agree. And then Levy used to go, Well, it wasn't as popular. It's always been very it's always been very from very to extremely popular. But Levy would go, Well, it got became less popular when, Bob? Because everybody else seems to uh be talking Party about Lane. it. Artie Lang, when Julie was there, had two best-selling books. So don't right. tell me it wasn't fucking. Right. So they were like, "Well, it went." Bob would go, "Well, he went to Sirius Satellite Radio. He it wasn't doing as well." Oh, right. And then well, Artie Lang was there when it was on Sirius Satellite Radio. He seemed to be doing fucking great. And he was making a hundred thousand a gig or whatever, and had two best-selling books. Yet the shit. And now, out. how's he doing? Well, now I heard he's not doing too well. Good. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. He should have All saved some of that money that he was making a hundred thousand a gig. What was he doing with that? Giving it to Norm McDonald to gamble for him. 
No, it's Kevin Lou to his heroin dealer. Yeah, and that. He he had every vice possible. Dude, he lost like a million dollars on his house in Jersey. What do you mean? He he didn't lose that much. He sold it, right? He bought it for like two and a half mil and sold it for like a million or something like that. So he flipped it. Yeah, yeah, in a matter of speaking, yes. He he, he kept flipping so many houses, he had to declare for bankruptcy.